farm, roughly a thousand acres. Uh, we are a family-oriented operation. Uh, we have two sons involved, and uh, my brother has his acreage involved. We generally farm a clay loam soil and grow corn, soybeans, wheat. The last number of years we've been into vegetable crops. Basically, I was looking for uh, an avenue to possibly get away from so much tillage and also preserve some of the soils that we have. I was disturbed by you know, the amount of runoff that we see in our lakes and rivers, so this is uh, one area we can focus on to reduce the amount of tillage and also uh, enhance the quality of our soils. First uh, process was to study the book put out by Jeff Moyer, uh, Organic No-Till Farming. In the first year it was my go-to resource. Now I've rolled with it and, and have my own practices that I do and it's kind of like second nature now. And so your number one crop it becomes your cereal crop and your cash crop is your secondary crop. It's all about uh, getting good seed, planting in time and good fertility. So we like to plant our cereal rye in September if possible or early October if we can. And we usually plant around 100 pounds the acre and if we uh, are planting our cereal rye a little later, it's no different than wheat. You should uh, up your seeding rate uh, to compensate for the uh, later planting. We will fill our, uh, our crimper with water to uh, adjust the weight, the down pressure for crimping. So the idea is we don't want to cut the stems, but we just want to crimp it. We crimp the rye at the anthesis stage usually, or a bit later. Initially we started out at uh, 200,000 seeds per acre, and increased now we're up to 400,000. Depending on the soil conditions a planter will uh, give you best uh, planting depth and seed spacing but you still end up with either 30 inch rows or 15 inch rows with the planter. Um, but I do feel that the narrower rows seems to work better in, the, in this system. So we, we've run anywhere from 43 bushels to 50 bushels in the years we've been doing it and with the soil health benefits I'm willing, and the time savings, I, uh, I'm willing to give up five to 10 bushels to the acre just for those reasons and uh, gain that in, further along in the uh, rotation. Uh, I guess with the amount of acres that we farm organically at, uh, and being as close to some livestock operations with the, the nutrients we were able to apply, uh, we are able to continue to build our organic matter. Maybe start small. You certainly have to do your research and, and wrap your head around it and be comfortable with the system first before you want to get into it. Uh, the main benefits is it allows us to crop more acres with uh, less time involved with the, uh, with the soybeans so we can focus on our other crops. Uh, of course, we cannot overlook the, uh, the soil health benefits. Probably the best way to build soil, soil organic matter is uh, with the no-till and the cover crops combined.